a lot of people today I'm going to talk about the best tweaks for iOS now there's going to be a bit of rules so this is you know legacy iOS so the rules are quite simply it cannot be a tweak that adds, increases usability because I've already basically done that so you can go look on my channel for that it's just called how to make iOS 6 more usable it does apply to older versions as well but I'm just saying hey, you know, iOS 6 because a couple of those don't work on iOS 5 so I guess the first one would be iFile here it's on the main repos you don't need to add anything it's just a file manager now if you're on iOS 7 or above I don't recommend it but here it is file manager it's basically your only file manager if you're on anything below iOS 7 unfortunately it's not that great because you can't search because it's like a paid tweak and you can't get see your stores gone so you have to use the trial version essentially which makes it a pain to you if you want to like configure your apps if you have like loads of apps which I do because if you want to find Twitter, you go go like, oh, is this Twitter? No, it's not Twitter, and so on and so on. But it's your only file manager, essentially. Okay, the next one is on the repo of when this loads. I'll just show you it. I don't really need to show you it on here, but I'm going to. So the next one is Emoji Port and Emoji Form Manager, essentially. So if you're wondering what it does, it basically ports old emojis to iOS. So if I go in here and you can see I've already put like examples here. Those are like the only two emojis that I know have been added. Well I think the rainbow one might be on iOS 6 I die. But the trans one definitely isn't. That's that's not even on iOS 12, so but yeah, see. So for going to like my emojis in here I've got loads of them so if we go in here look see um yeah so emoji fault manager I just probably point out the fact that it's not on the default repos once it loads it's quite quick though so the repos you need for it is Poom Smart Repo, and that looks like it. So Poom Smart Repo is poomsmart.github.io/repo. Um, what's next? So the next one is Mikoto. I'm not sure exactly, but it's this. This tweak is quite a useful tweak. It's got a lot of like sense essentially. I'll show you it into my settings. So there's a lot of Stuff so you've got iOS system, so I don't know, status bar, you can add custom strings, custom unlock text, you know, so on, so on. And then if you go down, there's like options for YouTube, Twitter, Skype, Facebook, Line, Tumblr, Trillion, never heard of Trillion to be honest, Google Maps, and Facebook Messenger. So, yeah, it's a lot of tweaks. So, this is not on the default repos once again. This is on, once this slides I'll show you, so you've got two repos here, so you've got CTR Kimi AI, that's for like the normal version, or you've got CTR Kimi AI um, slash beta, so yeah, next, 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 so on to the next tweak I guess, and that tweak is of course going to be Music card. So, this is quite a cool little tweak. It's quite a simple tweak, but I'm not going to show you it because I don't want really to have copyright issues. So, I'm going to refer you to these screenshots. You can have show what's playing like that in your music and um, like volume control. And you can have by default, it doesn't actually show the album cover. You can say it. You also have to enable it because it's not on by default. But it's quite a cool tweak. I don't know what versions it supports. 
Looks like it's probably only supports iOS 6 and maybe iOS 5. Next one, this only works for iOS 6 slash 5. NC Sands, it's on the default repos again, just like the last one. And you get these tweaks up here. So it's basically like the Android controls once again. But yeah, by default, it's not on. So what you've got to do, this took me a while to work this out, but what you've got to do, go into your notifications and you'll have a thing that's like blank, dark sky. As you can see, it's this one here. And you just got to enable it into the notification center. Okay, on to the next one, I guess. And after this, which will be, let me look, Veteris. So, this isn't necessarily fixing it, but it's fixing stuff, but it's a useful app. I did cover this in my fixing video, because it's very closely related. It's basically an alternative app store for holding all of these old apps so for you know an old version of Twitter not the keyboard Twitter you go in here and hit get and it'll give you all what version to install and then you press install and it installs you do I will have to warn you about this to make it work you do need SID app sync unified which is also on the repo of cydia.kimi.ai and yeah there's also a 4.0 but it only runs on iOS 5 and above so yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching goodbye